Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Go Gamers, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Xbox Series S that's having video output issues. So let's go over to the upper cam and see what's going on. So as you can tell, we have a Xbox Series S, and these things are actually pretty pretty tiny um and they're pretty crazy but um customer brought it by to us saying that it's having video output issues so i wanted to go on ahead and um check it out for myself and see exactly what's going on now i can almost guarantee it's definitely the hdmi port and we can go over to the upper cam and we can see why well the microscope as you can see hdmi port completely burnt out so um what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take this apart and actually go ahead and replace that hdmi port on that xbox series s now if you guys haven't seen my um one of my previous videos before i have done ps5s and xbox series x's the xbox series x we actually had to do a retrofit meaning we had to use a previous gen xbox model hdmi port in order to get it to fit which is uh pain in a huge process to be able to get done but they actually manufacture xbox series x and s um hdmi port so today we will not be doing any retrofits we will be putting on another official xbox series s hdmi port so um let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart get it down to the motherboard and see what we can be able to get done on this one We got it down to the motherboard so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this capton tape right here and this capton tape you can actually get it off of amazon if you just hop on amazon and type in capton tape that's k-a-p-t-o-m tape and you should be able to purchase it so what we're going to do is we're going to apply this around the hdmi port to make sure we uh, protect the components near that port so once we heat it up nothing gets destroyed around it so let's go ahead and start getting them on there all right so when you have the capton tape every way over top of your hdmi port what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these clamps that you can get from amazon or home depot um, if you just go down to your local home depot and grab it or depot as some people say uh, you could just go ahead and clamp your motherboard anywhere so i'm just going to find a safe spot to clamp it without having to break any components and we will move on to the next step all right so it seems about right here is a good and safe spot to put the clamp on so i just brought the light a little bit to where you can be able to see it so now what i'm going to do is do a couple things we're going to switch over to the microscope so we can see over top all right so as you can see we have our hdmi port right here so i'm gonna go on ahead and take my heat gun and i will actually switch over to my upper cam so you guys can see what type of heat gun that i'm using you guys can see hopefully i should be able to show it a little bit closer that's exactly where i have it um so as you can see i got the fan on high and i'm on I'm on this bar right here. So that's the bar that I'm on. So n the second to the highest. I'm gonna take some tweezers, like so these are Husky tweezers. Go back over to our microscope. Um, and I'm gonna put my tweezers and I'll actually show you on the upper cam so you can kinda hopefully see what it looks like through all this mess. So I take my tweezers, I'm gonna set it like this and I'm gonna heat up underneath until the solder melts and we can be able to get it off. All right, so we have our old HDMI port taken off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this um, no clean flux paste that you can get from Amazon. Um, this is 8341. So we're gonna apply it over top of the HDMI header in the four anchor points and we're going to take our solder iron and we're just going to make sure our solder iron is heated up. We're going to take some of our um, solder um, right here and we're going to apply it to every single anchor point and make sure we make make sure we get the solder on the entire HDMI header. So let's go ahead and get that done.
all right so we're going to take our new hdmi port as you can see right here and we're going to go ahead and um, apply it to um the hdmi header and the anchor points as you can see everything is clean and looks good and we're just going to take the hdmi port with the tweezers we're going to make sure we put it in there to hold it down and yeah we're just going to first start off by heating up underneath the motherboard to make sure everything um, is melted before we apply it on the board or you will melt the plastic on the hdmi port because i've seen people do that so many times so um let's start by heating it up well let me actually put my fume extractor next to the header keep them fumes away all right so we're heating up the header right now and as you can see the anchor points are starting to melt it's going to wait a little bit longer. All right, we should be good. All right, as you can tell, we have the new HDMI port in place. And now here comes the tricky part. We're going to go ahead and take our solder iron, and we're going to have to solder down every single pin individually onto the motherboard. So let's get a good view of that, and we can start working on that right now. All right, all pins have been successfully soldered down. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over this microscope. So let's take a toothbrush. I'm gonna take my 99% IPA. I'm just gonna dip my toothbrush in there and we're just gonna clean around it. All right, and now all we have to do is go ahead and put this motherboard back in the chassis, hook it up, and see if we can get it to work. All right, so. All right, so we have video, and I just hooked up my controller, so I'm going to go ahead and log into their game console um, we're going to go over to the video settings and we're going to up the um, video yeah just scaled it up to 1080p as you can see everything seems to be working 100 percent fine now so this is a good hdmi port all right that's it for today's video on this xbox series s video port issue if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to our channel right here at go gamers we do a lot of repairs just like this and if you want to see a specific repair or if you have any questions make sure you go ahead and either make a comment below or reach out to us on our website at gogamers.com you can call us or if you are interested in shipping in your repair to us go ahead and shoot us a call and we will be able to go on ahead and organize your repair and get your game console repaired just like how we did this customers right here but besides that you guys have a good day and i'll catch you guys on the flip side i'm out peace